Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with Brandon's DIY. And today I wanted to talk to you about how to turn your home into a smart home. I'm going to be showing you some of the things that I did with my own personal residence, turn it into a quote unquote smart home, and some of the things that you can do to turn your home into a smart home as well. What you can expect out of this video is for me to go through and show you each product that I have uh, in my home that is a smart product that then overall turns my home into a smart home. I'm also going to be sharing with you product links for each of the products that I own and that I have installed into my home again to turn it into a smart home. In addition, I'm going to be talking about some additional things that you can do with your home to go even further past what I have done with my home and really going all out with the smart technology in your home. But before we continue on with the rest of the video, this is a new up and coming YouTube channel. And so your support is greatly appreciated. When you subscribe, when you like the video, when you comment below and when you share the video, it really does help me, it helps the channel and hopefully I'm able to help you through this video. Now also the products linked in the description below are going to be affiliate links. So I do benefit from that. So that is always greatly appreciated when you make a purchase through those product links. Now I'm very excited for the sponsor of this video because it is a product that I'm going to be launching here in the early part of 2022 and it is a paint edging tool. It's going to be a paint edger under my brand. And so if you have any at home project, you're repainting and you're always going to have to do some type of edging. Usually you would do that with a paintbrush. However, with a paint edger, you're really going to be able to cover a lot more, a lot quicker and with a lot less mess. You're going to be a lot more precise. If you've ever painted and you've ever edged, uh, you can, you notice that the main problem is that you go a little bit over and you end up touching the ceiling or you end up touching the baseboards. They end up getting painted along with what you're edging. So you have to go back and repaint that uh, with the paint edger that removes all of that problem. And you're really able to get a nice straight line uh, and really good coverage with a paint edger. So there's going to be a product link. It's going to be the first link in the description below for the paint edging tool that is going to be under my brand at some point. At this point, depending on when you're watching the video, it may be another brand. However, you're still helping support this product launch when you buy early on or later on. It's greatly appreciated. All right, so the first product I'm gonna be talking to you about is the Arlo camera system that I have in my home. Now these Arlo cameras have really been a big benefit to my home and additional security, keeping track of pets, as well as just overall and general oversight of my whole property. So I have one outdoor camera that covers the front of the property. So anyone that is coming up to the house, I'm able to see that because there is a motion sensor that indicates that someone is coming. Now there's also the Arlo app. With the Arlo app, you get all of the notifications on your phone if you decide to enable push notifications. And you can also go in and mess with whether or not you want to receive notifications for certain movements. There's a lot of different settings you can go through with these Arlo cameras. You can turn off the motion detection. So if you're using your home throughout the day, you can turn off your indoor cameras and just leave on your outdoor camera so that you're always aware of what's going on outside, but you don't want all the motion activity uh, with the indoor uh, activity monitor. There's also a feature with these cameras where a light will shine at night if it's dark and their motion is picked up. So I do also have two indoor cameras. They're at undisclosed locations within the house. The one at the front of my house is pretty obvious, so I really don't need to keep that a secret, but the ones indoor, they are undisclosed as far as location, but they do really help me with security and being able to notice if I hear something at night and I'm kind of a little bit worried, I really don't have to get out of bed and go check everything out. I can just check the cameras and I can sleep easy and it's just peace of mind. So that's one aspect that I wanted to start with with a smart home and smart home technology is the Arlo camera system. This is technology and security that is at your fingertips that really will enhance your overall security and smart technology within your home. Now next is the Google Nest doorbell. Now this of course is a very common product that most people have and it's usually the first step you take and turning your home into a smart home. And so of course, 
you may already be familiar with the product, but if you're not, uh, same type of technology as a security camera. It's gonna pick up motion, it's gonna pick up sound, and it is a doorbell, so when somebody rings that doorbell, it is going to notify you, and you are able to speak to the person and visually see them on your smartphone. So this is also an app that you have on your phone. It's a really great feature when it comes to a smart home. And this is usually, like I said, is the first thing that you will do uh, when it comes to having a smart home environment. Next is the Google Nest thermostat. Now this thermostat that I have, it is very aesthetically pleasing, really fits the style of our home. You can pick up this Google Nest in a few different colors, so you don't have to get this exact color that we have. But once you get the hang of using this product, really it's gonna be something that is a huge benefit to you because all of these products that I'm talking about for the most part, they all run off of an app. And so you could be away from home, you could be tapped in to your temperature, setting your temperature, changing your temperature. If something goes wrong, you can change it right there on the app. All of these smart technologies really are just giving you peace of mind when you're leaving the home. And they really are a great benefit. You don't even have to leave your bed. You're laying in bed and it's a little bit hot. Instead of going down and changing the thermostat, you just have to do a few clicks on your phone. You will end up being able to change the temperature, uh, change every aspect of the thermostat basically, directly from your smartphone. Now, the next product is also a Google Nest product. Now, these are the smoke detectors. Now, you really wouldn't think of smoke detectors as essential to turning your home into a smart home. However, we're trying to encompass, you know, the full wide variety of everything you would potentially use in your home to turn it into a smart home. Now there's obviously a lot of different products I'm going to miss along the way, and a lot of products that I don't currently have in my home, but for the most part, these are the basics that you're gonna to wanna to have in your home to have a smart home, and potentially talk to your realtors, but if you're selling your home, selling your home and marketing it as a smart home. That could potentially raise the value of your home significantly, so really look into that and do your own research. So why would you install these Google Nest smoke detectors. Well, first off, in my opinion, smoke detectors obviously are very important in the home. When it comes to the thermostat, the two smoke detectors that I have in my home, as well as the doorbell, they're all Google Nest. So it's all one app. And so there's a lot of control that I have with that. If I'm away from home and smoke is detected within my home, I am notified of that. And so if I have pets in the home, you're able to react to that and take proper action. And if you have cameras, that's another addition of uh, another benefit to having the cameras because you can cross verify what's going on in your home with all these different apps that you've got. Another addition, another great benefit to these Google Nest smoke detectors is they act as a nightlight, but only when you're walking by. So they can detect motion if it's late at night and you're walking through your hallway. It's a very subtle light that will come on and it'll be a light for you to walk through your hallway. That's how this one functions in our home. Now, if there's already lights uh, in the home, most likely it won't activate, but that's another benefit. And it's just a really cool feeling to walk through motion detected light. Uh, that's just a really cool aspect of it and I really love that feature on these smoke detectors. They act as security, they act as a warning system that you already have to have in your home, uh, but then you have that added feature of having a nightlight, also having all of that warning through your smartphone uh, to be able to detect smoke. Now here's one that you most likely haven't heard of, but if you're in the Midwest or you just have a basement in general, when you have a basement in the Midwest, or really anywhere where you have a basement, you're gonna have a system called a sump pump. Now the sump pump, when it's set up in your basement, it has an exit. It has a system that pushes water that accumulates underground and pushes it up out so that your basement doesn't start to leak and flood eventually. Now if you are on top of preventative maintenance with your home, what you will also install along with that sump pump 
is a backup sump pump. A backup sump pump is basically a secondary pump that is run off of an external battery so that, God forbid, the electricity turns off and you're in a rainstorm and the sump pump is not able to handle anymore and the electricity is off. The initial pump that is connected to the home's electricity no longer works, that backup is going to activate and you're gonna have quite a few hours of it being able to push out that water. So you really don't have to worry about your basement being flooded in that case. So one of the products that I added uh, along with that whole backup system is the basement watchdog. So it's basically a module, it's connected to the battery, it's connected to uh, the electrical system of the house. So it really is able to pick up and indicate to me through the watchdog connect app whether that whole system is functioning or not. You know, if my power went out, if the sump pump is currently activated, if the backup sump pump is no longer working, it's also gonna give me that indication. So I have all of these indications as a warning so that my basement is protected. So this is a product you're most likely not going to see uh, in other YouTube videos, but I just wanted to throw that in there because it does connect to my app, and so it is a smart technology product. Of course, links for all the products I'm gonna be talking about in the description below. Now, there's a wide variety of other products that you can get into. You could get into smart appliances in your home. You could get into smart lighting in your home. But there was one other item I really wanted to share with you because uh, it looks great in our home. It is a smart product and it can be controlled through an app. And that is the Samsung Frame TV. This TV, basically what it is, and I'm gonna leave links in the description below because this is my favorite product in our home. You get the TV and you can also buy a frame around it. And so the, the whole point of this concept, you can get whatever size you want when you click the link in the description below. But the whole concept behind this product is that you're gonna have an app on the TV already where you can basically pay a monthly subscription and you can have art. And so when it's connected to the wall, it's flatly connected, you have a wire that comes down to a media box and there you're able to connect USB, HDMI, uh, everything you really would need nowadays is gonna be right on that box. So you have less wiring from the TV and you can manage everything below with that, with that media box. Also, it's a smart TV. And so one of the features is the TV may be off and it senses, you can set it up where there's motion detection. So when you walk by, the picture turns on. When you walk out of the room, the picture turns off. So that's a really cool added feature as well. Now through the Samsung TV app, you're actually able to control volume, you're able to change the channel, and you have a lot of different functions through the app. I hope that this video was helpful. Again, all the product links for all the products I talked about in this video will be linked in the description below. Along with the sponsor of this video, which is the Paint Edger that I'm gonna be launching here in this up upcoming year, but there's going to be a temporary link for the current one that I'm selling. And so all of your purchases, all of your comments below, all of the likes, when you like this video, it is all greatly appreciated. I really do appreciate that, especially this being a new channel. All of your support really does mean a lot. But that's really all I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time.